Hi, welcome to Jimmy Choo Cooking's ham and cheese rice cakes cooked in the pie maker. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. You can add or remove any ingredients on this list that you like except for the eggs. So let's get started. We have some herbs here. I've just got some parsley and some spring onion. I've got some pizza cheese, which is a mixture of mozzarella tasty and parmesan cheese. I've got a Spanish onion, pepper, veggie salt and a clove of garlic with some corn. And this ham has just been diced off the end of a bone and it's got a little bit of the rind in it but it's really quite lean you could use bacon and what we're going to do is mix up our eggs with our veggie salt our pepper our chopped garlic just one clove in there leave that out if you're not a garlic person our rice is going in now now that's just cooked rice Jasmine rice, you could use basmati, any rice that you like. Mix that all around with our corn, our ham, our herbs, and our onion. Now, I don't want to use all of that onion. I think that's a little bit much. But we just need to mix this all around so it's all completely combined. You're going to have to go to a spoon now. I just wanted to break that rice up. And last thing in is our grated cheese. Just mix this all around till it's well combined and we're going to drop spoonfuls of this into our very well greased pie maker and turn out little ricey, meaty, cheesy, delicious little patties that you could have with some relish, have with a salad and that's going to all bind together. The cheese and the rice and the egg are going to go together almost like a bit of a cheesy quiche if you like but it won't have a crust on it but because we're going to grease our pie maker so well it's going to get a nice crispy crust on the outside and of course we can turn it over too and that is the consistency you should have you could put prawns in this if you like pieces of cooked barbecued chicken roast lamb with peanuts if you wanted to there's lots and lots of things this is just giving you an idea of how you can use your pie maker to make interesting things with just a few leftovers very economical great for the school lunch boxes terrific on a picnic we just preheat our pie maker and i'll show you what they look like Okay, we've just got some butter here in our pie maker. Make sure you brush the top of the lid as well. Give it a really good mix as we're going because we want the egg not to settle to the bottom. Okay, and we're just going to use a cookie scoop because it's going to be so much easier. And plop it into our pie maker and just press it down. Okay. Any little wayward bits, just flick them back in and close the lid. We'll turn them over in a second and they're going to be crispy, moist on the inside, well cooked and delicious. <laughs> now we'll see how they go. <laughs> okay, these are firm dried up now. We give them a little flip and you will see that they're nice and crusty on the bottom. Cooked right through and we're just going to brown the top. And don't they look sweet? Hope you enjoyed our little leftover recipe idea using the pie maker. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richard cooking channel. Don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. There you have it, Cheeky Richo Cookings, ham and cheese, rice patties in the pie maker. Let's have a little look at this, shall we? It's nice and crispy. It hasn't stuck at all. Don't ask me why it hasn't stuck, but they are absolutely gorgeous. We're going to have that with a little bit of spicy chutney. And look how portable they are. Put those in a wrap with some nice salad, pop them into a lunchbox, or take them on the picnic. They're beautiful. Mm. Hot, warm or cold? Perfect snack food. Thanks for watching. Mm-mm.